education of our children, even down to kindergarten by these uh, health uh, programs or these health studies in our school. It is time for us to stand up. There has to be a degree of revolt. That's what I was going to ask. What is the bottom? How much are we going to put up with? I mean, they know we won't put up with forever, so they want to have the revolution just be a big race war instead of people coming together and vomiting out this sick culture they're force-feeding us. Yeah, well, it's coming to a head now, Alex. I really, it, it, you know, uh, civil disobedience is fine uh, when you're trying to really show forth your effort, I believe it to be peaceful. Martin said, do it in peace. And I believe he showed the world that it could be done that way. But we, we need to say, no, we're not gonna allow our kids to go to those schools that are teaching this. No, we're not gonna permit this intrusion in our own businesses when it comes to our faith and our religion. Just no. And uh, they can't handle that type of uh, revolt and I believe when one day, especially the African-American community especially, will stop bowing down to the politicians who mean them absolutely no good at all and really recognize that they have stripped them of their faith, stripped them of their belief, stripped them of their morality, then there will be a shift then. There will be a shift then. I, I think it is, once again, the church is the key. We meet every Sunday. It could gradually be done and changed. The information has to get in. We can't just come in with sermons <clears throat> that are religious, but we have to come in with a word uh, based from the scriptures to bring about change in our Well, presence. it's all interconnected, and that's what founded this country was the, was the pastors saying no to the tyranny. In closing, you've been monitoring media, obviously, as I have. Uh, they're going with the anti-gun agenda, but... Do you think cooler heads will prevail and, and, and we're not going to put up with hyping a race war like the media has been trying to do? So far, how bad does it look? I, so, you know, I can't tell right now. I'm, I'm going to wait till after this weekend. As I stated, there's going to be some militant speakers that I don't know what they're going to do with this right now. Uh, you'll know Monday. <laughs> yeah, I'll get a better feel for Monday or Tuesday. And I think once again, uh, the timing on this was, was impeccable. And so now you, you've given talking points to some of the most militant, rebellious uh, individuals, especially in the African-American community, who would really, some of them would want a race war. They want this, this anarchy Insanity. And this, uh, to continue. So I, I'll know better after this weekend. And um, prayerfully, the people of uh, Charleston respond uh, sure. prayerfully and... We'll see. I can't tell right now. Blackgenocide.org, Reverend Clintard Childress, God bless you. Hopefully you can pop in with us at least 30 minutes sometime next week with an update. Have a great weekend, sir. Appreciate it. God bless now. God bless you. I tell you, folks. And again, it's not that I hate anybody for who they are, what they're, I'm very open-minded, classical liberal, but there is an agenda. Just look at it. It's not good. Everything attached to it is to bring down humanity if I was going to take down any group, I'd go in and take the men out. That's what every enslaving group did. I mean, it is 101 takeover. I, I don't mean to do this every day. i got to do some overdrive. There's a breaking news at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. China to retrofit thousands of merchant ships for war. That's what I mean. I mean, it's like top historians are saying this is like pre-World War One, pre-World War Two. I mean, everybody who's smart is saying, man, this the, the elite have decided to just do some crazy stuff. I'll be back Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m., okay? Lord willing, pray for us. 4 to 6 p.m. of the Sunday show. Tell friends and family. Live.com today. By the way, I forgot to play this Ron Paul clip, so I'll play it now. Then I'll hit this merchant story. China to retrofit thousands of merchant ships for war. Here he is, that clip, ominous clip. The full video is up on Infowars.com with former Congressman Ron Paul talking about the Day of Reckoning. You don't know the timeline on this. It could be tomorrow, it could be a month, it could be a couple years from now, uh, because it all depends on a psychological acceptance of the system. So a lot of people who are still making a lot of money know the system is not going to last, but they figure, well, if everybody else thinks it's going to last, just keep 
owning bonds and, and buying stocks. Today they're buying stocks and yet next week they may sell them all again. So, uh, no, I don't think there's any way to know what the time is. But, you know, after 35 years of a gigantic bull market in bonds, believe me, they cannot reverse history and you cannot print money forever and deceive the markets forever. Eventually, the markets will rule and that's only a question of when that will happen. And, of course, uh, I run a little bit scared because I think there will be a day of reckoning. Powerful transmission. Full video, Infowars.com. China to retrofit thousands of merchant ships for war. Beijing launches huge program as tensions with the U.S. build. China is set to retrofit thousands of merchant ships for military purposes so they can be used in the event of war. Another disturbing indication of growing tensions between Beijing and Washington. Shipping industry publication Tradewinds reveals that China is preparing a new fleet of war-ready ships to serve as a reserve military logistics wing. That's just their regular ships, so they're covert. In the event of a naval conflict, the new policy will apply to container ships, row rows, multi-purpose ships, bulkers, and other ships with shipbuilders receiving a government subsidy to pay for the cost of making the vessels military useful. And now they're announcing here in the United States they're putting cruise missile, anti-cruise missile batteries on the east and west coast to shoot down submarine launch cruise missiles. I mean, regardless, it's a giant boondoggle ripping us off, but it looks really ominous with the whole Russia situation and the rest of it. According to American Maritime Congress President James Capote, the move is another sign of Beijing intensifying its military buildup while Washington stands idly by. We really want China to do that much more capable, he asked, explaining the decision to retrofit merchant ships with military technology. People's Liberation Army researcher Chow Wen Dong said modern naval warfare often requires the mobilization and deployment of a larger number of ships, while the mass production of naval ships in peacetime is not economically sensible. That's what England and the U.S. both did in World War I and World War II and in a bunch of other conflicts. And what it is is just covert where you can have missiles. With this technology so compact where a missile pod pops up out of what looks like boxes uh, where it's got better loading docks for equipment, troops, larger supply. I mean, there's all sorts of uh, uh, hidden guns, uh, gun pods, uh, different radar systems. Uh, and then you just have the companies do it and then you pay them back. I mean, I mean there's hundreds of things they're doing. And... They've got all these ports everywhere. They've got Long Beach and all the other deep water parts. It's crazy. Panama Canal, and we're being set up, as Joel Skousen has said, for a conflict to entice Russia and China to strike. They're just pushing them and pushing them while the elite creep over and stand right next to their bunkers waiting for whatever this is. I mean, we're in the hands of suicidal nutcases. That's all I can say. Um... I mean, just look at the news. There's just hundreds of these are, hundreds of them. School lunch program scans students' thumbprints for tracking purposes. No, it's a condition to do that to buy and sell. Brian Williams gets $10 million for his new job at MSNBC. He'll fit in really well with that scum. I mean, they are just scum, lying. I never, let's go out with Melissa Harris Perry saying that your kids belong to them. And just remember that because they know best. Your kids belong to this White House operative, this creepy woman. And I'll see you back, Lord willing, this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Great job, crew.